Hi, I'm Dylan Paris, and I got a request a couple of months ago to make a video just showing slowly and in depth, essentially a tutorial on how to export stems from Core Gadget 2 and import them into Beatmaker, uh, specifically Beatmaker 3. The reason you might want to do this is that although Core Gadget is a really powerful app, it does not support the audio unit standard, and so you can't add additional synthesizers and sounds that aren't in Core Gadget already outside of samples. It's a pretty simple method to do this. We'll load up a track. I'm not even sure what this sounds like. All right, so let's make this a little longer and we're going to turn it into a buildup. I'm actually gonna clone it one more time and clear everything except for the last bit so that there's a bit of a play out and I'll let it do it again. And then this will give us enough time to fade it out if we want to, although I think you can also export a tail. So now we're gonna go here to export and I'm gonna hit iTunes. It's, a, it's not um, intuitive but iTunes will essentially let you export into the Files app. So we're going to do all tracks, and now it's going to render. And it's pretty quick, because this is a really, really basic track. Um, it'll be longer for other tracks. I have the Files app in my dock. Here's some thumbnails. Uh, if we go to my iPad, I sort. This is a <laughs> pro tip. I sort by date. So the most recent things I've made are going to be the things at the top. I highly recommend doing this because you almost never need the alphabet sorting on an iPad. It's, it, you're usually working with what you've most recently worked with. So here we can see these exports. Um, it exported them into the main folder of Core Gadget. So what I'm gonna do is select them and then, yep, that's all of them, not this. And then I'm also going to load up another window of cord or of files, go into Beatmaker, and look for imports. And what I'm going to do is actually create a folder. I'm going to call it Identical Grace because that is the auto name that Cord Gadget gave this song, and I did not change it because I did not care. And then I'm going to just drag and drop my selected files. These are very small, relatively, because again, it's a really short and really basic songs. So these are only 10 megabytes each and they're always gonna be identical. Um, it doesn't matter the content of the track. To my understanding, it is rather the length and the bit rate that determines the size. Anyway, we now have the, the stems in the imports of Beatmaker 3. This is important because now we can, if you wanted to, save your work here in Core Gadget. You probably should if this is a song you actually care about. And then we'll go to Beatmaker 3, new session, and we're going to want to be here in the song view. Uh, once we're here, we can go into this icon. It's a folder icon. So from here, we'll go down to Imports and Identical Grace. And I can't remember if you can multi-select. I'm pretty sure it's actually super frustrating. Um, yeah, Beatmaker 3 is really interesting because in the world of iPad apps, it's like light years beyond most other software, in my opinion. However, in the world of music apps, like on every platform, it has a lot of growing pains. And one of them is that in an app like Ableton, for example, I could select all of these, drag and drop them, and they would create new tracks. And I am pretty sure, please comment if I'm wrong. I'm happy to be wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure the way you have to do this is hit new track, create audio track, and do this over and over again. We have, what, six stems? So we need six tracks, and then to just drag and drop every single one. And you're like, okay, well, that's not really that big of a deal, Dylan. I don't know why you're freaking out about it. And that's fair. It just it doesn't have to be like this. And when you've used apps that are better, or you know, do this more simply, it can be uh, a little frustrating to go back to this. But now, now we have a song. So this is pretty cool, right? So these are stereo tracks, and they're just playing back what I created in Gadget, but you can process them. So let's solo. It's pretty.
but let's add an audio effect. So I've got a couple reverbs I really like. I'm gonna go with uh, Black Hole, I believe is, or sorry, yeah, Tone, bur tone Boosters. I think it's called Black Hole Reverb. It might just be called Reverb, that's fine. I'm being a little exaggerated here with these uh, tones. Uh, let's see, remove audio effects, selection, select. See, I would like it to just solo what I want, but that might be a setting I'm just not. Also, I'm not using headphones, so these might sound super weird. So yeah, uh, not a perfect DAW, but uh, it is a cool way to add more layers. So if we wanted a new bank is how you would add a new plugin, right? So now we're on A1 or B1. Let's do B1 because I just created that. Because We can go to the magnifying glass, hit plugins, audio unit V3, and add a Xeon, my favorite plugin on iOS. Maybe anywhere? Shouts to, I believe, Bram Bose created this. That's why this is called BB Synthwave and BBZ Space, I believe. Let's get something really obvious. Oh. There's just no noise. Is that because I have that soloed? I bet it is. Yep. Okay, cool. So that's a me problem, and that's fine. This synthwave pack, I think it's like a dollar or something. It's so worth it. Even if it's like five or ten, totally worth it. Xeon, synthwave, get it. I'm almost sick of synthwave, but every time I think I'm done, it pulls me back in. All right. Now I should just in the MIDI of the song have that data now, but that's editable MIDI, not audio, because this is a plugin. If I, it's obviously not unbeat, um, so I could go back to gadget and check my BPM here. It was 111.3. That's weird. Anyway, let's close gadget, go back to Beatmaker and set the BPM here to, I think I can type it in, 111.3. So now, my hope is that it didn't change the, yeah, we're good. So now I should be able to edit this MIDI and select all the MIDI. It might actually pre-quantize to the wrong BPM. So I'm curious what it did now. Anyway, little jank like this, but honestly, that's probably my fault. Oh my God, that's so bad. All right, we'll remove that. You should set your BPM first, so we'll say that's my fault, because it is, and try again. So that should be on beat perfectly because currently Quantize is on for recording. Yeah, so that sounds great. Um, and then if you wanted to, the other reason you might want to export into another DAW or Beatmaker specifically is that you can have master effects, right? And so I sprang for the Fab Filter plugin bundle a while ago when I thought I was going to do all of my mixing and mastering on an iPad. You totally can because apps like FabFilter are here. That's not what I do. Um, that being said, you can load up a, let's see, none of those look what we want. Let's do a moderate general purpose limit. Let's see what we get. I'm gonna have it dither, have it oversample. 
our luffs is super high. This is just gonna create a more cohesive mix, but I'm not an expert on how to use this, so if you're like, Dylan, you're using that totally wrong, I believe you. <laughs> All right, uh, one of the other ones I really like from a really cool dev is RE1 Tape Echo from Numerical. Uh, this dude gave me this because I bought a different app right before it went on like super sale and iTunes doesn't let devs um, refund or change stuff like that. It's very rigid, but he was super cool and gave me a code for this. Um, so yeah, super shouts to Numerical, but yeah. That's not what I wanted at all. Cool. This app's interface is not. There we go. <laughs> Listen to how bad that sounds, but wait. like tape sound on the master. So it just gives you a playground to manipulate your audio. So yeah, like I said, we start, just to recap, we start here in Gadget, we go to export, export iTunes, which is actually files. We'll go into the files app, this is, sorry, not select all. They compressed this interface and I hate it. Seriously, let me in. Okay, so they, they did this now. So I go back to all my iPad, cord gadget. It just dropped the stems here, but I moved them into Beatmaker's import folder and you can get to Beatmaker, the same on my iPad area. Imports, I created a folder, I dragged them over. They're here now. And then in Beatmaker, they are in this files icon in your documents, imports, and whatever you created. Identical Grace is this one. And if you liked what you made here, uh, more power to you. Let's say you love this. We're gonna save it as identical, or identical cap, identical Grace uh, master, because we mastered it, and save. And then we're gonna export, audio export, master song we're gonna give it one more bar because why not even though we didn't really have a tail we're not normalizing we already put a limiter on it we are not peaking start export and we're doing as a wave you don't have to do this uh, for a master export you probably want to wave most services like DistroKid will would prefer you give them a wave and then they'll compress it and then if you want to go immediately to your file you can hit the share button and share it somewhere. I will save the files and I will save it just directly to the iPad primary folder. I want to go into files here, I'll just make it one big window, go back to on my iPad. There it is. And now you can do whatever you want with this. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, turn that off. Shout out to my commenter, uh, sorry, I forgot your name. I think it was Ryan. Yeah, it was Ryan something. I'll put it in the video. Um, but shout out for the question, great question. Hopefully this tutorial is helpful and will teach you how to get your audio, sorry, out of Core Gadget and into Beatmaker. Uh, you can take the same stems that you export out of Korg into the Files app and take them anywhere. So that first step works to just get your stems out. Uh, but this is Beatmaker specific for getting them in. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Consider liking and subscribing. Uh, all of that stuff really helps my channel, but I think you know how YouTube works, so have a great rest of your day, and uh, see you soon.